Is Al-Maliki followers, when you go to Morocco, Algiers, maybe some places in Nigeria or whatever, they, what they call sadl, they don't put their right hand over the left on the chest, they leave their hands to their sides. So what's the point of that? Some scholars say that the followers of Imam Malik started doing this when he started praying like that. Why would Imam Malik, Imam Dar al-Hijrah, pray like that when he knows that the sunnah of the Prophet as in the hadith of Wa'il ibn Hujr, may Allah be pleased with him, was to put the right over the left on the chest and this is the sunnah of all prophets. Why would Imam Malik do this? The reason was that at some time or period of history, there was a disagreement between the Muslim ruler and Imam Malik, which happens throughout history with all scholars. This happened with Imam Ahmad, this happened with Imam Abu Hanifa, this happened with uh, Imam Ibn Taymiyyah, who died in prison. All great scholars are tested. And usually, if they don't kiss the backside or they don't polish shoes, they will be thrown in jail. This is the norm. So there was this disagreement which Imam Malik refused to compromise the religion which led the Muslim ruler to flog him and beat him in prison. That led an injury to his arm, which pre pre prevented him from being able to lift it, so he used to pray with his arms to his side. Some of his disciples and students, apparently who were not very smart, followed that way of prayer instead of going back to his books, to his hadiths that he used to teach, to learn how the Prophet used to pray. And they mimicked that and made it part of their religion or part of their school of thought, which is totally bogus, which is totally not true. And Ali, my friend, as a Muslim, we have to go back to the references, Quran and Sunnah, not to what Tom, Dick and Harry did with all due respect to them, but Allah ordered us to follow the Quran and the Sunnah. And people differ, people have their different preferences and understanding to things. So we are not to get closer to Allah by their understanding, rather by the Quran and the Sunnah with the understanding of the three favorite generations, the companions, Tabi'een and Tabi'i Tabi'een.